wanting to make a mess or anywhere you have it maybe in your patio you don't want to make a mess when you water but and they have wheels but i also use these to move my little plants around um my propagation i just put a bunch of little pots and i move it around so much easier and i also will drill holes in these um because sometimes i'll keep it in there i'll keep it all together and if i want to move the whole tray i can uh, also if i have one with no holes sometimes i'll do the water system from watering your plant from the bottom you know just placing the plant in there um to get water so yeah this is good this is actually i know it's plastic but it is super cute pot to make an arrangement so that's cute just gotta make a little hole in it and then these are really really good i love these you know for a dollar you can't be device. and then the this these pots are also awesome good i go through through them like nothing actually i'm gonna get one so um what was i gonna say yeah i've never seen this this is new the rain gauge that's new and that is the, the um thermometer there and then i like these hooks i like them i use these a lot they also have another smaller um, smaller hooks but for some reason they don't have them right now these are also good pliers so that's a really good deal um look they have a bunch of these bulbs i don't normally plant these but they're super cute and then these hooks um these were actually cheaper just by 20 cents i think at walmart if you needed that and then they have some really cute decor to make a little fairy garden with your kids just a bunch of cute things so just wanted to let you guys know to look into the dollar tree before you go buy anywhere else to see if you might need some things there's a ne the kneeling pad if you need it and then all kinds of cute pots and hanging uh, baskets as well so yeah anyways guys that was what i wanted to show you um i'll see you back from the dollar tree um, so today I wanted to show you a little trick um, that I like to use. I haven't tried it on here, but um, I do try it on other things. Uh, here's my table. It looks a little worn out and it gets scratched very easily. Um, I can easily paint it, but then how many times am I going to constantly paint it? So I'm just going to um, show you guys. I like to, I haven't tried it on this, but. Sometimes on certain types of furniture, you can take something like lemon spray or um, whatever polish, something that polishes, to make to give it an, uh, like a newer look, just to bring the color, you know, to look back. And it'll last for a little while. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this and wipe it down and see what it looks like. I'm gonna remove all this from here uh, first, and then I'm gonna show you guys. But um, before I do that, I have to make a mess because I want to do something about this plant. So this plant, um, I turned it this way. It was the other way, but it looks like uh, this guy right here was getting a lot of sun and turning a little brown on me, and I prefer it green. So I did that, and then I noticed that many of my plants, because I have a lot of plants in here, are hidden. So they're, they become pointless in their arrangement because you can't really see them, so you can't really enjoy them. There's this one that you really can't see. This is a, a variegated, I believe, um, zebra plant. And you just, it doesn't have that color, I guess, maybe, because it's not stressed. But I do remember it being more yellow. I'm not, I don't, I don't I'm not too sure. Let me go ahead and turn this around and show you guys what's happening. And this is why my table gets scratched. This is too heavy for me to do with one hand. Then there's this one, and then when I turned it around, it got a little um, leggy here. I'm sorry guys, people are working in their lawns. These uh, look okay, they haven't stretched. So I'm thinking about pulling these out because this arrangement is going to be facing the other way. And it's, it is going to stay here, and I, I enjoy it here, and it's, and it's doing very well here. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull these out and probably use them in another arrangement where I can appreciate them more. So let me hit, let me go ahead and do that and then um, wipe down the table and show you guys what it looks like wiped down with the lemon spray. 
free. Okay. I wanted to show you guys what for free that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So, you know, I'm putting it here to catch up, to catch all the soil that may fall out when I'm pulling those plants. So I just wanted to show you uh, the tray. You know, it could be multiple uses. You can notice if you can tell the difference a little bit. I see it. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. These um, marks here, they don't go away. I think this is from coffee cups when I sit out here, but I just don't know why it does that. I never, I don't know. It's not like um, the cup is not really hot when I am drinking my coffee out here, so I don't understand that. But anyways, I was at the Dollar Tree and this mat caught my eye because it does go well with the stroke pillow. So um, this is the mat right there. And I think it's super cute and um, I don't know if it'll get moldy out here when it rains. If it does, it was only a dollar, so it's not a big deal. I can get another one. But I really, I really like the colors here. Let me um, cut the plants up and set it up how I had it so that we can enjoy the way it looks. Here it is. Look at that blue, how it pops. Uh, I really like it. So yeah, it looks very pretty. And actually, I can now put my cups here and no longer continue to stain the table. For some reason, it does that. But I know it has to be my cups. Yeah. I don't know. But anyways, look at how cute that looks there. In a second, I'll just go ahead and give you a whole tour of this area. I cleaned it up the other day and it looks really clean. So, yeah. I'll show you guys that in a second. How this area is looking. You can see the pool fence. And um, I cleaned this up yesterday, nice and clean, after that storm the other day. So here how this area looks. And everything's starting to look pretty organized over here and neat, even though I had some accidents. So let me um, talk, let me um, talk to you about a few things. So um, I normally have something hanging here it's that big um like donkey's tail plant a version of, i mean there's different types so so i was concerned during the storm of this you know just flopping over so i had to figure out how to not allow that to happen i can tie it to the palm tree um so that it, it won't be pulled back like this i would only tie it so that if it ever were to go forward it can't because it's tied so I ha i'm gonna possibly do that then i have the same concern for this one um, because it's on a pot this um thing it's for birds but i turned it into um for hanging some plants um yeah there is a long nail in the plant planter going into the ground but i feel like with strong winds like we had the other day that can still be easily tipped over so i need to figure out on how to tie that so that that doesn't happen as well um, i don't know if i can tie it to the tree um, if it's going to be weird because it's on the side so i need to figure that part out uh, let's see what else everything here is looking good let me step away from the sun so you guys can see so everything here is looking good. The arrangements that I um, fixed, they're, I think, looking really well, That's for, you know, for now. Oh yeah, so um, this ruby necklace, it's not doing too good for me. It's looking unhappy. Um, I don't know why. Um, it did come in and out because of the rain, so I had it in and out. Uh, so I'm hoping that eventually it's just going to, if I leave it alone, it's just going to um, start doing well. So I don't know. So here's this one. Um, this one was tipped over by the, um, with the big euphorbia that was in the back. The euphorbia tipped it over, but thankfully um, nothing happened. Um, so yeah, I'm amazed by this dusty rose. Look at how big she is. She's been there. Hold on. She's been there, I believe, already a year. Um, so yeah, I don't know um, if the weight of it, it's starting to lean this way, it's pretty heavy, can eventually cause it to snap, so I'm not sure. This um, cactus, uh, 
I put these two bamboo sticks here and then tied it with a twisty tie here just to keep it upright. And um, when it gets rain, it looks a little, I don't know, like wet dog look. So I just brush it out like this and it looks better. You can brush the hair. So um, the new, um, what I did new over here was I moved this arrangement that was on the other side and moved it over here because, well, this is not going to go anywhere. Um, if we have a storm again, it's going to stay in place. So yeah, this has been doing very well. I believe it's going on a year. I believe I did this last spring. So, and these did very well here and I um, finally beheaded those plants because um, they got so big they were tipping over. So I beheaded it and it had already, before I beheaded it, it had babies already. So yeah, it's looking good. I need to hide that cable a little bit better. And then I have this stump here. I really like it. I found it. Somebody threw it out. And I really like the way it looks. And the girls can sit. I sit there and to come look at the fish. So yeah. Um, so here are the fish. They're doing well. Yesterday I got some really cool new plants for them. They are uh, a water plant. They're a type of uh, a lily. I think they're called potty plant i can't remember i'll put it on here so you guys can see but they get some beautiful yellow flowers so um yeah i they were so easy they float obviously and they're just floating in there and i it was a, a big one and i separated it into pieces around and i try to cover the filter uh, if you guys didn't know i did add a filter so maintenance for this so far i had to add a, add a filter because um i don't know if i didn't have enough plants to keep the water clean or um, maybe the plants were not mature enough so um, it could be because of that what else so I also noticed because it gets it does get you know pretty hot here a lot of water evaporates so I recently already added water to this and I'm gonna have to add water again because it has gone down so so far that is the maintenance that I have to do keep the filter clean which is very easy I pull these two things out hose them down clean they come out nice and clean and I place it back in and then um, just keeping the water level at a good level I mean this is not bad even if it goes lower but I like to keep it you know to this here because um, the fish like to hide under this rock even though it's they still can hide but then right there I would say that the water level is a little bit low you know between the rock and the brick so that's what I would say but um there I just fed them so they probably know that I'm not going to feed them right now so they're hiding but they do come out thinking that I'm going to feed them so I don't know look look at snow peeking out like is there food is there food <laughs> so yeah um I was excited to find these plants and um I cleaned the fairy with a toothbrush and she's already looking a little green again so I just gotta clean her up again. Um, here is what we just did. I put my coffee there and um, here are the plants that I pulled out up here. As you can see the planter still looks full. I just need to add a little bit of rock there to cover um, the soil. I can add more of this plant. I can just go ahead and propagate some more. Uh, I don't know why it didn't have more, produce more. Um, yeah, I don't remember if I, if this was the little piece that I added here. I can't recall. But I will be linking the video of this planter below of how I'll put it together. And um, so yeah, like I told you guys in the video uh, for the Dollar Tree, you guys can find some really neat stuff. Um, even for your kids, like their fairy garden stuff is really, really nice quality. And um, you can make a really nice fairy garden. This would be way more than a dollar at uh, Michael's or Joanne's Fabric. So yeah, you can just easily place that anywhere. I like to place them in different spots. Like I would probably put it in front of a stump like this, see? It makes it look like that or even in front of planters i do it as well uh, i also have placed them along the fence 
before um, like this so I, that looks super cute so I've done that as well um, so yeah this is just uh, they have many many cute things a lot of the little things that you see that I use in my um, decor is from the Dollar Tree you know those the mushroom clothing hanger that's from everything pretty much except for that that big um like thing that i used as a pot um what else did i want to talk about oh i have this here these um are i think doing well so far especially this one looks very happy here um the only thing the only one that shows a little bit of concern is this one would like it to be a little bit more greener but i don't know it was like this already before i planted it here so maybe it needs some time to get green so yeah we'll see it's not dead as long as it doesn't die and then these i think they're doing well i just planted these in here so i just hope that they propagate like crazy so yeah uh so now i place these i like to sit here and then i place the chair here um, for my husband to sit in but I think he prefers that one so yeah so this area looks nice and clean I took a bunch of the pine needles that fall on here out and the mango leaves everything here is doing well the only thing I pulled out the euphorbias because they're taking forever to root even with the root hormone so I placed it in water hoping that that works so yeah but the other day I caught a little bug right here it's already gone it's a little worm like bug that looks like an itty bitty bitty caterpillar and it eats the plant as you can see so i caught that it had made like a little cocoon inside there and it was just eating off the plant so i actually gave the bug to the fish and they ate it the worm as soon as i threw it in there the fish just took the worm i'm like wow okay so here is the euphorbia um i think she's gonna like her new spot um i redid everything so i think that um this will be okay here but i can take precaution and tie it to the fence i can do that so i'm thinking about doing that um oh here's my crown of thorns it's doing very well it's also i did a video on this i can link you guys below you guys can see the date. I'll put the date here when I did that. Uh, here is my turtle flourishing after I, you know, trimmed it. And I told you if I give it water often, it's going to grow really quickly. And it's already doing that. Um, these here, um, they look a little sad. And I think it's because it gets a decent amount of sun. So I don't know, I think this is okay, but mm, this trailing jade is not doing so well. So I might pull her out of there and let her recover somewhere else. Um, that fell there a while back ago and I just never picked it up. I left it there. So I was thinking about um, keeping it like there, not there, but you know, keeping the arrangement in its pot but showing you possibly how can you make an ugly arrangement look better again without having to disturb it too much. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and then these are here as well. They're doing good. Um, I don't know much about gardenias. Um, um, I do know that they do attract this white fly, but I'm not sure if it had white fly. I think it had mealies. So I've been tackling that and it has a lot of buds. So it's much happier now because I've been helping it out. And I think it's going to bloom a lot for me. I just got to be on it. That's what it is. You just got to be on it. If you see it, it had a decent infestation. So if you're not on it constantly checking, um, it's going to come back. So you just need to be on it. Uh, I've tried everything so far. I just did everything that I had in hand. I've already sprayed it with alcohol several times and then I went ahead and purchased this other um, spray that kills on contact like you mix it with water and it kills on contact so um, yeah that's what I've been doing um, so I gotta stay on it if I want it to flower for me I'm also I'm also gonna give it miracle grow as well 
um because i bought it for my other bushes and i have lots left over so i'm going to put it on that um these plants are doing really well here as you can see these are big see look at how big these are look at how big they're so happy here they've been doing really well um I don't know if this is scales or not. I think it is. It's such a pain. For some reason, these always have it too. So I don't know, they're like a magnet for scales. This I trimmed and we'll see if it comes back. Um, and then here are some more plants just growing and propagating itself there. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, everything else I think is doing pretty good. I want to tackle these, just clean them up in the inside and just probably freshen them up. They need a little freshen up so that they could look better. And that's it, guys. And here is my, des uh, my desert rose. Also, it gets mealybugs. I recently treated it as well for it. And it's, it, I, it looks like I got rid of it, so... But yeah, they get, look at this flower, how it flowered very weirdly. It, I think it had to do with the mealy bugs. See, the flower normally looks like this. But this one flowered like if it's, I don't know, shredded very differently. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day. Oh, check out my mangoes. So uh, before I let you guys go, I'll tell you, if you don't know, I um, grew this mango tree from a seed from my husband's, um, in my husband's neighborhood where he grew up, there, he had a favorite mango tree. So he ate a mango from that tree. I kept the seed and I grew it. And there it is, uh, like six years later. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you guys have a great day. Bye.